Okay, this is paper one, higher level, question six, mock exam. 30 students were asked if they had a bicycle. You know what, I'm just gonna say universe is equal to 30. If 30 students were asked, that means how many students in total? 30. 30 students were asked if they had a bicycle, a mobile phone, and a computer. The results are shown in the Venn diagram. All right, so here's our Venn diagram here. So these, this two represents two students that only have a bike. This X represents students who only have a mobile phone. This three represents students who only have a computer. This four represents students who have a bike and a mobile phone, but do not have a computer. These six students have a mobile phone and they have a computer, but they do not have a bike. This one person here is the only one who has a bike and a computer, but no mobile phone. And seven students altogether have, but all three, a bike, a mobile phone and a computer. And these two poor souls don't have either of those three things, none of them, okay? So work out the value of x. The, well, I don't know what x is, all right? But I do know that if I add all these numbers together, including x, I should get 30. So if I take x and add two plus four plus seven plus one plus three plus six plus two. Don't forget to add the guys on the outside because they're part of the universe as well. And when I add all this together, I should get 30. When you add all these numbers together, you get 25. So it's x plus 25 is equal to 30. Or in other words, some number added to 25 gives me 30. x is going to equal 30 minus 25. x is equal to 5. All right. Use set notation to describe the shaded region in the Venn diagram. All right. So the shaded region is shaded for us. That's handy. And it's in the circle of M. But B has been cut out of it and C has been cut out of it. So that's going to be M with B union C taken out of it. So B union C. So imagine you had M and then you took out B and you took out C. You'd be left with this here. All right, so M, but I took out B union C. Find the cardinal number of C and where that intersects with M union B complement. Okay, well, let's start with M union B. M union B is these two circles all together. This little complement means that, see these two circles? I want everything except those. So I do not want this whole circle. I do not want this whole circle. I'm only interested in this and this, all right? So where does C intersect with three and two? Well, it only intersects with three. So there's three students. The cardinal number is equal to three, all right? That's, that's all you can say for that. Part B, write down the probability that the student is a member, sorry, a student is chosen at random, write down the probability that the student is a member of the set M complement. So, see this circle here? Not interested, all right? I'm interested in everyone outside of it. So this two, this one, this three, and this two. So how many students is that? Two plus three is five, plus one is six, plus two is eight out of 30. You can simplify that down to four out of 15, okay? Write down the probability that the student has a bicycle. Okay, well, I'm gonna to have to, sorry, write down the probability that the student has a bicycle. So I'm gonna to have to go back here, all right? So the student has a bicycle, is everyone inside this? Now this is getting a bit messy, so apologies about that, but two students, four students, seven and one. So seven and one is eight, plus four is 12, plus two is 14. So that means there are 14 students who have a bike, so you have a chance of getting 14 out of 30, or seven out of 15, just simplifying my fractions there. Two students are chosen at random from the students who have a computer. Find the probability that each of these students has a mobile phone, but no bicycle. Okay, so what are we interested in here? I'm just gonna rewrite this circle out here, all right? We've got seven here, six here, and one here, all right? and three here. So we're interested in computers, but we're only interested in the students who have a computer and a mobile phone, but not a bike. So these six guys here. So that's six out of how many? Well, that's six out of 30 people altogether, isn't it? So that's my first person. So when I pick the first person, I have a six in 30 chance, okay? Now I have to pick a second person. Now, in probability, there's always this confusing thing where and actually means multiply. So you're picking one student, my probability is six out of 30, and you're picking a second student. But because I've picked one from this group already, 
I'm now down to five out of 29. Think about that now. There were six students. I've picked one of them, all right? So that means this number is reduced by one, but so is the total amount of students is reduced by one. I've taken them out. So you end up with 30 over 870, or rationalize that to one over 29. Okay, and that's that question there.